710 ESPN Seattle presents Brock and Salk's Wrap Up. Powered by the law offices of Heidi Hunt. Will a Montana be under center for the Huskies down in Corvallis Saturday? And if so, what does he have to do? We're now just a few days away, and remarkably, the Huskies just nine days left in their regular season. You've got to imagine that sense of urgency has been ratcheted way, way up over there at Montlake, and they may be having a new starting quarterback making his first start down on the road. It's still a very tough place to play. I know Corvallis and Oregon State and those Beavers are just two and eight this year, but it'll be cold, it'll be nasty, it'll be bad weather, and they still have a lot of pride down there with Mike Riley. I just saw those Oregon State Beavers two weeks ago down there against Stanford. They have a lot of young people that are continuing to play hard. And I'll tell you what the game plan will be. It'll be very simple. If Nick Montana's under center, the Beavers are a quarters coverage team. That means those two safeties back there like to play right around the box, like to be six, seven, eight yards deep. It gives them the opportunity to play upwards of eight, eight and a half men around the line of scrimmage. And Nick Montana, even though it's going to be run right, run left, run up the middle, run right, run left, he's still going to have to make some plays if he is quarterbacking, a la Tavares Jackson this last weekend. You saw Marshawn Lynch carried 32 times for the Seahawks, but T-Jack still had to make those plays on third down. So a wonderful opportunity if you're Nick Montana, and indeed you do make your first start. But if the Huskies are going to win, if they're going to stop this tide, it's going in the wrong way. Nick Montana will have to make a few plays down in Corvallis. 